how do I deal with anger? So what is it like when anger shows up in your life? Anger, rage, frustration, all of these things can show up in so many different ways and uh, sometimes when we're really least expecting it. Anger is something that I've worked with for a really long time now. It's something that I've been interested in actually from uh, being a little girl and being a, maybe a little bit on the uh, angry side. Um, so as we know, um, there are lots of things that we are told that are really important to do when we are angry. Um, so some of those things that we are told is count to 10, breathe, take yourself away, go and take some time, take some space. In my experience, these things can help, they really can help, um, but actually do they really help us to process the anger um, and the pain and this stuff that is really quite hard to get a, a, a tangible grip on to move through and shift away um, something that actually is much like a, a fizzy drinks bottle, just keeps bumbling along. And I have found that those things, they don't really work. Um, they haven't worked for me and they haven't worked for the clients that I've worked with. So um, I think it's a really good thing if you can find your unique inner peace and you can find maybe the courage to face the difficult feelings, the envy, the lack and the loss and just the excruciating pain that can be below the surface of being really angry. And for everyone, this is different. Uh, everyone, this is unique. And this shows up in lots of different ways. This can show up in the symptoms that we're aware of that, as you know, that I've talked about before. So things like uh, any kind of pain, so any kind of self-harm, any suicidal ideation, um, they can show up as anxiety and depression. And also one of the mill things like shouting and screaming unnecessarily or what you feel is unnecessarily after the event when actually it's really necessary in the event. It can show up in our facial features. It can show up in our fingers. It can show up in biting our nails. It can show up in um, certain ticks that we may have, certain things that we've, we think, oh, I really wish my body wouldn't betray me like that and show how pissed off I really am. And um, what I can do to help you with this um, is if you choose to work with me, we can start exploring what's really going on and how your anger is showing up and how we can actually connect with what's really going on. We go deeper. I really support you in this work to be able to go deeper. So listening to you, exploring, connecting in with you. And sometimes you're going to be like, I don't actually have the words. I am so pissed off. I just cannot even put this into words and that's fine because my experience and my expertise both personally and professionally is that I can put you in touch I am completely confident that I can put you in touch with whatever you need to be in touch with to get through to the other side of this so that you can find yourself more fulfilled you can have a life which you feel is not hampered by your anger you can have relationships that are a lot more connected that you can actually go to work and feel like you're not gonna take the head off people, that you can respond to emails, you can read your emails and not feel like, oh, I can't believe that email just come into my email box. And that you can go home and not shower your kids as much. And you know, we all shower our kids. We all get the emails and we go, I wish they hadn't emailed me that, <laughs> responding on our phones. But actually, what's it? what would it be like if you could face a future where you're able to go, okay, all right, this is what's going on, this is what's triggered, this is where I want to be, this is what I want to do, and actually find a place where we can work therapeutically with this anger and whatever pain is going on, whatever pain is triggered, to be able to bring you to a place where you feel like your life is not stuck in the anger and some of the loops that anger and rage can find us in. And sometimes this is just bumbling along, along frustration. You think, yeah, I'm all right, I'm managing this, I'm getting on with it, I'm breathing it, I'm distracting it. I'm finding ways through sport or through work or through alcohol or through whatever you do. Um, but yeah, what would it be like if, if we could work deeper? Because uh, that's what I do. And I would love to work with you if you are committed to, to this kind of work. Um, be really great to talk to you because I'm always interested in working with people who are 
yeah, of that kind of flavour who want to work with me and who I know that I can help. So get in touch today. Uh, the first call is an initial consultation of about 10 or 15 minutes to work out whether I'm the right person for you and whether I think that I can help you. And if we're a right match, that's, uh, that's where we start. So um, get in touch today and I look forward to speaking to you then. Thanks and have a great Monday.